Mike Pacelli here with another edition of Very Useful Guitar Licks, uh, I guess volume two. It's very early here in the south of France, but I figured I'd sneak this lesson in before uh, I head off to the golf course. I know, too much information. <laughs> um, after the last lesson, I got a lot of emails asking about the guitar. This is a one-of-a-kind John Buscarino. Uh, it's a Pacelli model. Uh, John and I you know, designed it somewhere between a Strat and a Mustang. Gaboon, ebony, fretboard, bird's eye, maple on the back. And yeah, great guitar. Been my main uh, guitar since uh, 1995. Toured plenty with it with, uh, you know, Phil Kagi and Tony Levin and Jean Moss and Frank Stallone and blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, um, that's the guitar. Oh, and I'm plugged through my pedal board into a Vox 1963 AC30. That's the tone here. <laughs> Turn it up a little bit more so I can hear it in here through the board. There you go. There you go. So the lick I want to talk about today, uh, I'm also going to be in the key A, is very useful and uh, very simple. Uh, a lick like this. Now, when I I got to be friends with uh, Alan Holdsworth, uh, an amazing legato guitar player. He was on my TV show and... Um, when we both lived in Los Angeles, I would you know, pick his brain whenever I could. And he told me something very useful. He said, once you get a string vibrating, keep it vibrating. And although that sounds overtly simplistic, it makes a lot of sense. Um, sometimes we have the tendency to want to pick things, pick every note, which takes away from, from a legato feel, obviously. So, uh, you know, if you pick once, what else can you do with the string? And this lick is a, a riff, I should say, is a, well, I guess it's a lick, is a primary example of, of what you can do. Um, it, it's, it's based off of kind of like, a, like an A minor kind of sound thing, but you can use it over A major because you got the minor third and you get a bluesy, bluesy sound. So, so what, I'm, what I'm doing is if I, if I play this G on the sixth string, I'm going to hammer on two other notes. So I got the string vibrating. I mean, you, you could continue that that if you want. Keep the string vibrating forever. So um, the pattern is like one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, slide, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four. Very slowly. So I'm basically only picking once or twice uh, per string, but I'm getting a lot more notes. Uh, again, very slowly. Kind of reminds you of King Crimson, doesn't it? But it flows really, really well off the hands, and it's so simple. You know? And what else? What's nice about licks like this is that you know when you when you're playing, say you're playing down down low, and, you know down and dirty, or you're kind of doing a you know on the fifth and sixth string kind of you know. Now rather than just jump up. It's nice to have a, you know, little connected dots, a way to get up there. And the other thing is, once you get your, your hands rolling, you know, with the rolling feel of... You have a lot of other possibilities. Say you're on now, we're going to work on the fourth and the uh, 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 third and fourth string. We're here. So, you know, you don't have to continue the entire lick. You can stop and get... Go all the way up to the 12th fret if you like. So, so work on that. Now, you don't always have to start on the... Uh, like, I'm starting that on the 3rd uh, fret of the 6th of the, uh, 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 string. You could, you could start on the root. Say you're playing an A, you know, just start it on the 5th on the fret of the 6th string, you know. Right? Yeah, very slow. And do it right. Slower, Mike. I 
like that. But uh, I mean, really, there's there's any possibility of those rolling motions. I like to do things like if I'm playing, um, say for instance, I'm going to be on the the D and G string, and I'm playing one two three one two three. I like to move that up a, a, a whole step. You know, like. And, and you can, you know, once you get the rolling motion, feel free to, to stay in place and just, you know, you got that string vibrating, so keep moving your fingers, you know. And, or, and go backwards. Get the string moving and then, and then feel free. Uh, try not to stay, you know, although I'm, I'm showing licks, try not to stay too much in the lick. You know, don't be afraid to move the lick up a half step, too. I, I, I like that idea, like if you're going. See what I did? I'll do it again. When you do it fast. Sorry. You know, it has a nice kind of out there jazz kind of a, a thing. Half steps are always great for that. Anytime you get anything rolling, feel free to go up a half step, you know, even like a... Uh... I guess I should show you this lick. This is one of my favorites too. Again, uh, you know, it, it, like the first one is kind of the same motion. It's one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, four. You know. Here's another useful one, the same kind of idea, like. Let's see. Sometimes I gotta do it fast to, to remember. Even slower, Mike. That has the same basic pattern, like you go one, three, four, one, slide it up, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, slide up, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. Right. Nice. <laughs> if I must say so myself, sorry. So again, very first one, so useful. And uh, that was the first and the second one put together. I'll do them slow. useful licks I hope you enjoy. Um, there's the charts and tabs at Mike Pacelli. If you'd like to pick those up, go ahead and download them. And uh, thanks for hanging out with me.